All right, the, the best way to end the 2018 Hope and Hardware Summit is to have the executive director of Oshawa, but we should give, come on, I've been told on good authority that if you clap loud enough, she'll open her talk with an a cappella version of her favorite uh, karaoke song, yes. which, is, which is Blues Traveler's Hook. So, uh, oh yeah, right there, okay. Let's hear it. Thank you, thank you. All right, Michael, I'm introducing you next year. All right. Um, so I have a number of uh, thank yous to uh, tell you about. First of all, thank you first and foremost to our sponsors, all of our sponsors right here, um, including uh, this year we had two extraordinary $10,000 sponsors, Autodesk and Hackster. Thank you very much to those sponsors. Um, all the sponsors on this list make this summit happen. Uh, we couldn't do it without the financial ability that you all provide us with. Um, this allows us to pay our staff, pay for the room, um, you know, coffee was sponsored, um, all kinds of the behind the scenes stuff that, you know, you don't necessarily see that costs money, of course. Um, and then another thing that we could not uh, deal without is our volunteers. Um, so Jimmy Rogers in the back there, thank you so much for using all of your friends at Artisan Asylum to help us pack bags and do badges and give us space to spread out and whatnot. Our volunteers are crucial to this event happening. If you packed a bag, thank you very much, and I hope you take one on your way out if you didn't get one this morning. Um, and then I also just want to um, highlight just a couple people who really um, did some really awesome things this year. So this uh, community to me um, is, is home. Right, this is the open source hardware community. I love this community. Um, there's a reason that like, my job as the executive director at the Open Source Hardware Association is because I love what I do. Um, and uh, one of the reasons I love this community is because I perceive it as very welcoming to women and technology. Um, and so, yeah, a little clap for that. <laughs> Go ahead, you can clap. Um, and one of, the, one of the things that we do at Oshawa is we um, try to get women and minorities here with travel grants because sometimes it can be difficult um, to come all the way, you know, wherever we happen to be and purchase a ticket and all that kind of stuff. And so um, two people this year helped us out um, putting on their own special event. One of those people is Sophie Kravitz. Um, Sophie hosted the women's dinner. I don't, I think she's like over in that room. Somebody go tell her she's thanked. Um, so, uh, so she hosted the women's dinner and she said, you know what, like nine years ago when the summit started, you all hosted the women's dinner and I showed up and I met, I met you, like Sophie was like, yeah, I met you, Alicia. And she said, you know, and I met all these other women who are prolific in our community. Um, and so she, and since then we kind of quit doing the women's dinner because guess what? There's so many of us, we can't all fit in a restaurant. Like we can't all pay for like all of your, you know, food, which is a fantastic problem to have. Um, but she was like, I really missed that and I wanted to make it happen again. And so this year she made it happen just on her own and it was amazing. Um, and then um, Drew Fustini also, uh, he took it upon himself to, um, to like just set up a little, um, Eventbrite for people who wanted to donate a little bit extra coming to the party last night to the Ada Fellowship, which helps uh, women and minorities travel to our summit. So thank you both to those two people for taking on the initiative to just help grow our community in a wonderful way. And speaking of community, if you want to help grow our community even more, you can all become members of Oshawa through September. We are having an Open Source Hardware Association member drive. Uh, so if you're interested in what we're doing, if you want to know more about the organization, please become a member. You can become a member on our website, oshawa.org. Um, and then I have uh, an incredibly important person to thank. There she is. Addie. <laughs> She's going to hide. <laughs> Um, so, Addie, Addie has been our summit chair for six years now, and it's a bittersweet moment because she's stepping down as summit chair, 
Everybody go, ah, there you go, okay. <laughs> but we wish her the best and brightest. Everybody go, yay. <laughs> okay, great. That's, it's kind of like, you guys need to get up and move around a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um, planning the summit is a lot, but Addie has pulled it off every single time for the past six years. We couldn't do it without her. Um, she's curated impressive speakers. She's done the uncomfortable task of asking all the sponsors for money year after year. And she's brought our community together for the past six years. And for that, we say thank you, Addie. So with that, um, there's a couple summit related announcements. 2019 is going to be in Shenzhen, China. Yeah, yeah. Um, so look for uh, announcements about that. It'll be happening in the fall sometime. And then 2020, we'll be back in the US. Um, and we want your opinion, but we're considering moving the summit to the spring because there's a lot of competing events in the fall. So reach out to us. Let us know what you think. If that's better or worse for, from you, we want to hear from you on that. Um, and then the last thing that's standing between uh, you and the demo time and parties right now is uh, I'm just going to let you know where the after parties are. So um, we've got time um, until 7 p.m. in this room to talk to um, all of the lovely folks doing demos here. And then um, at 7, there's a party at Artisan's Asylum that goes until late. Um, and there's also a party in Mead Hall put on the, by the MIT Alumni Association. So thank you very much. Do you have anything you want to say? Do you want to give a speech? No, I don't at all. No. <laughs> um, I just also wanted to thank MIT and the engineering students who have helped make this possible, who've gotten us the room reservations and the audiovisual people and all the seats and chairs and infrastructure that we have. Um, this is literally not have been possible without you. In addition, there's some people, we're going to do like kind of an open mic thing during demos, and we're going to have some people come up and talk about uh, things that they're working on and things that they're doing and sort of just like making that happen. So if you're interested, just uh, feel free to queue up uh, on the mic, and we'll see how that goes. That's, that's it. And I just also want to thank Alicia and all of the Open Hardware Association and everyone here, because it's been an awesome run, and I'm, I'll be missing you guys, but I'll be in Shenzhen anyways. I just won't be busting my ass, so. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. All right, go play.